Hello, everybody. Welcome back to more water, more warm snow. We're going to be checking out medium snow difficulty, I, I guess, is what this is here. So we did, you know, spoilers. We beat the run yesterday. We're going to try this one out. I may go right back to the other mode for a little bit as we unlock more meta progress stuff. But we're going to check this out for today at the very least. So we're going to have an increased chance to find high quality relics and swords. But enemies do more damage. Enemies from the next. I don't know what that means. There's more to it, I'm sure. Uh, Fleshkin is born from the corpse of every cursed living being. We'll have to see what that means as well. And basically, the last one, I think, just says that there's another difficulty level after it. So let us check out another build here. We have the infinite one that we're going to go for, the infinite class. So we're going to still have this passive. You have an infinite amount of flying swords. Every two flying swords do true damage or every other every third one i guess every two flying swords mean the next one so yeah every third uh we're gonna go with sun pierce which i've heard incredibly good things about shooting the flying sword when it lights up shoots a sun piercer ray that deals massive damage instead so transform the recall skill into inner light you will shoot a sun piercer ray within the next five seconds i oh what the hell this is cool. Okay. I, you know, this is going to sound silly. I'm going to say it anyways. I hope that the sun piercer pierces enemies. It does. Okay. I mean, that's logical. I just, you know, I didn't know for sure. This seems neat. I will say the good news is it looks, it seems to be the case that enemies do not um, scale up in health. Oops. Oh my god. They don't scale up in health, seemingly, which is very good news. It's always one of my least favorite ways to add extra difficulty to a game. Okay. So, yeah, they're just a little son of a gun uh, spawns out of them. But it's not every enemy. I mean, whoop, maybe, they, uh, maybe they have a little bit more health. Could be. I do remember we actually did get a... Um, oh, my God. Hello, hello. An increase of 30% to our damage. Which is quite huge. Health. A little bit of a disappointment. I haven't tried out my... Ability yet. I don't... I don't get it. I don't get it. Is it literally just you get a free sun piercer shot... Oh, it's been a while, lady. You get a free sun piercer shot in five seconds from now. We do have to time it right. Eh? Going for it? Uh. That was not the way to go. Get down, stay down. That. Ah. Ah. This is a it's a very weird ability, that's for sure. Just trying to go for a melee and the sword throw at the same time seems like a uh, a very big brain smashing moment. Stay down. Okay. I <laughs> can't it's it's really messing with my brain. I don't want to have to use my potion, but maybe we will. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get wrecked here. All right, let's use a potion, I guess. I deserve death. God, it's it really does take up a, a lot of brain power because it's such a small window. And I'm just trying to focus on dashing, let alone conceptually trying to maybe go in with a um, with a melee hit. It's just really tight. It's 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 rough. I'm hoping some upgrades will make it easier. Chance to summon. I mean, I do like that. Sun Piercer Ray coverage. Infinity True damage. Eh. Maybe we want to go hit hit. Hit, hit. True damage hit. 
I mean, we'll just go with this. It's not going to be as good as it was yesterday, but we will go with it. Uh, active skill. Get a blizzard upon dealing frost damage. No. Flicker. Frost over where you're standing. Meh. I just don't love it. It's this. Enemies with bleed have bonus damage taken. All damage up by 5%. If you have damnation, attack boost, and then... Eh, you know, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Not not a good start, and not a good uh, not a good pickup, either. Give me a random relic. Oh, wait, Icebreaker Stone. Mm, there's a world where we have a build in there. Not really. No, not... Not not really. Some pretty, pretty trash items. Definitely want to reforge our weapon. Give me something new. Damage up, sheath cooldown down. Sure, whatever. Right, and the other thing is not, not relevant now. Not looking good. Really not looking good. I don't know how much of that is because of just my brain breaking from this uh, weird but cool power that we have. And how much is because of the difficulty increase. Okay. Yeah, it seems like, I don't know. Can we charge it up? Okay, we can charge it up beyond. We were doing a red laser there. What is that? Yeah, what's the red laser about too? What the heck, man? There we go. Strange stuff. Not currently feeling optimistic, but hey, you know, we've made crazier builds work. God, I love the sword from the heavens there. Oh my god. I will say the saving grace of the, like, heaven sword is probably the fact that it, it does pierce, and each hit from the pierce probably increases the chance that we uh, get the sword. Oops, not good. Oh! What the hell, dude? Okay, well... Yeah, that's phrased wrong. That is not phrased properly. Every every attack that we fire off for those five seconds is a laser beam. Gotcha. Regardless of its charge. Every attack for five seconds, every flying sword attack for five seconds is a laser. Okay. Okay. Gonna save my ability for the elite here. When did, when did we get the red laser? Oh god. I mean it that is pretty crazy. Whoop, get out. Mr. Piggy. Be in hell. Ah, okay. Uh. That's a wombo, I guess. I don't know. That's just, it's, it's not very, not very good. Oh, I'm stuck. Womp, 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 womp. That is really fun. Uh, we don't need any health right now. Oh, didn't have our ability charged up. We could do something like, um... Yeah, I'll show you. I think the use case for our little wombo combos for bigger enemies like this. Because then we, you see that? 
That was bonus damage? That's... That was with bonus damage from him being frozen. Whoop! Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Goof. If we could get the ability... Oh my god. If we could get the ability to use our sheath ability more often... I'd be all over it. Wait, is this a... I, I don't know. I've been wondering if there's like little secret paths to get those little uh, meta progress unlocks. Oh, God. I was trying to do that to the Mr. Piggy. Okay. Like, yeah, this is very good. It's very good. It's just... It requires a little bit more brain power than normal because it is requiring you to have good timing. Uh, all damage up 10%. Enemies with poison take more damage. Uh, movement speed up 14%. Poison damage up 21%. Damage attacks have a 9% chance to do 4x damage. Uh, uh, Lotus. Look for death, Lotus. I mean, I feel like that's all worth it enough. If nothing else, the, just the raw damage upgrade we get is worth it enough. I think we go for this. I think we go for the skill. Right. The, the tome. I don't know that. Uh, whatever. I don't particularly care about any of these. I feel like we can already use this at full speed. Am I wrong? I'm trying to think of, like, what helps us in boss fight. Oh, I am wrong. Well, maybe... Meh. I still think that this is probably the way to go. Let's go. That, I feel like that baby should have hit. Maybe we just dodge around a little bit until we get our super mode. There we go. Okay. Oh my god. Did I didn't do that much? You get a good luck. Bye bye. Nice. Another icebreaker stone, really? Bruiser. No. All damage up 8%. Sure, whatever. Enemies are drunk. Sure, whatever. Frozen. Eh. We don't really have a reliable way to freeze enemies. Did we take this on Prospect? Did we take this on Prospect of going for... Uh, fine. I'm going to do this for one reason, one reason alone. We do get 400 souls, which increases our damage by uh, a buku sum. Of me. Yep. We just need a, a more reliable way to freeze enemies, and maybe you got a stew going. Oops. There we are. Whoop. Ah, oh, come on. The timing is really... It's, it's quite tight. I'm sure that over time I'll just get used to it. Like, I'll know what it is. Yup. Cool, 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 cool. What you got? What? This is new. Tigers. Tiger. 
smart. Unleash a compass strike that deals 35 damage to surrounding enemies. Melee attack up, melee attack speed up, movement speed up. Maybe. Uh, punch sheath. Increase all damage you deal for five seconds. Hey, I'll take it. Yeah, in a sense, sort of like screw that, uh, that idea. I don't know how we're going to... I don't know how we would get the frost idea working right. So yeah, we have enemies from future zones in this zone. That is like... That is one of the elements of this difficulty increase. I, I do do realize that. And I did realize that. I just haven't made a vocal comment on that. So I'm just making a vocal comment on that now. So you know that I'm not blind. Which I think is going to be very annoying in the third zone. Because some of the uh, zone 4 enemies are brutal. Oh, the red one is just the true damage, isn't it? So we could do like a blop, blop, blop. That's okay. Gotcha. So we could go bap, bap, charge it up for later. Diggy, diggy boy. Get out of here. I mean, Fearless Warrior, right? Leech Fang is great, but Fearless Warrior sounds good. Does this reduce my movement speed? And it just doesn't tell me that, though. Okay. <laughs> tap, tap. See, now that we've gotten that, like, figured out, Oh my god, that's super cool. What the hell? Whoop, whoop, okay. There we go, we got the supercharge mode. Oh my god! And when they're in very large clumps like that, it's also more likely that we get that attack to come down, which is really, really nice. I guess I'll go with movement speed, and I guess I'll go with a little bit of healing. I don't have that much concerns for this boss. I actually think that the um, the final boss here is much more pattern based. Just figuring out where we are in the cycle. Oh, I missed it. I missed it again. There we are. The first boss, he's so a lot more pattern-based to the extent where you can, like, you can dodge his stuff easier than probably, like, the first and second boss. I would, I would even say, like, the mini-bosses. I actually firmly believe that as of right now. Oops. We'll see how it changes. Oops. Come on. There we are. Oh, it's so neat. Whomp. Get out of here. Nerd. All right. Do we buy something? Uh, what would another Millennium Ice even really do for us? Nah, let's keep our money. The pearl is tempting. Keep our money because money is damaged right now. Oh, that breaks bullets. Yep, 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 yep. 
Might as well melee. During that mode. Okay. Surprised he doesn't do a third attack there. Whoop! Do the triple. Yeah, you're... Yeah, not too bad. Glad it's only one phase, though. Ah, uh, nice breather. <laughs> Making sure we're on our red one. For what little damage... Or, uh, damage difference it'll make. Oops. Where am I? Oh my god, that was tight. I'm just going ham at this point. I think that it's going to be easier for us to just go nuts. Because we get the extra bonus damage on frozen enemies. I'm going to wait for him to do his swing before I go. Okay. All right. Yeah, that's that's it. Crazy mode activate. This one's a little bit tighter. Yeah. Okay. Go. Go, 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 go. Uh, left. Left up. Okay. My nerd. Zombie finger, real girl, you poison damage. I mean, that's crazy. But here's the thing. I don't want to do another poison build for a little bit because we, like, just did it. It feels like. Um. Upon dash. Blah, 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 blah. Nah. None of that's really that important to me right now. Ooh. I'm going to go with Sword Mastery for now. Big number funny. Big number funny. Wait, what are the options here? Let's see. Flying Sword Attack up. Sheath skill. Seems super useful. Pearl. Pearl's good. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'll take that, I think. Because this doesn't have any way to... There, there's a world in which this is not a bad idea. Uh, it might be with. It might be worth keeping around. It, uh, You know, it's going to be worth keeping around, I'd say. We'll see, we'll see. Whoop. But yeah, I, I want to have that as an option to switch into that proper slot later. Because Northwind Bloom, if we can get another way to do more frost damage, like if it was, I don't know, every flying sword attack has a chance to do frost damage or something, I'd be a little bit more interested in swapping that over. It's not that worth it right now. Wop wop. Okay, get ready. Hey! Oh god, I almost walked right in there. Good deal. Holy moly. I, I, I can't get over the flying, like the falling sword damage. 
it must scale off of our... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. There we go. It's You can't let go just when the sword's yellow. That's, that's not enough on its own. You need to do it, like, in the first little bit of it being yellow. We're also going to be looking into potentially getting um, mechs showing up, I think. Be good. Speaking of no, oh wait, what? There's a pig. Is there? Has there always been the ability to be pigs here? Okay, go go go, just go, just go go, go 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 go. So we do extra damage while they're frozen, so that's why we're getting up and going in to do the little bit of melee action. Whoa! Next flying sword attack becomes charged with lightning every eight seconds and deals 78 true damage. Uh, granted, when rage is 100%. Okay. All right. Flying sword attack up 30% upon dealing fly, flying sword damage, 5% chance to be healed for 3%. Upon dealing floor damage, also deal 10%. 10% chance to do an extra 30% true damage. Uh, whoa. Or just an incredible passive. This is a really good pickup for us. Uh, increase flying sword damage. God, I don't know, man. I feel like this might be the way to go and to kind of pivot out of caring about frost damage. And then we can do this. I think we I think we'd say who cares. What does this do down here? Nothing. Yep. Yep. We'll pivot out. We'll pivot out. So do wait, okay. Which I can't even remember which one we went for. Did we go for the heal? Chance to be heal. Chance to do bonus true damage equal to 30% of flying. Okay, so 10% chance to do 30% of the damage. And on top of the, the, the fact we do just get a raw 30% damage increase already. That That's going to be some silly numbers. I hope we get another one of those. It doesn't need to be... I'm not going to get greedy and say that I need it to be another, uh, another legendary, but... Uh, those specific effects are really, really nice for us. Oh, I didn't even... Son of a gun. Whoop! I wonder if we'll notice the uh, that 10% effect there. Oh my god. We, we really just enter wild boy mode during that. Uh, what is this for us? Damage you deal has a chance to increase all damage. That's probably going to be better for us. Yeah, that's more relevant. That's more relevant. And I absolutely am interested in a new sword. Sounds good, man. Oop. Good deal. I feel like I keep on trying to save up my super duper mode for elites, but I think we should just... I think we should spam it out a little bit more here, right? It comes back pretty quickly now. Yeah, it comes back pretty darn quickly. So I'm also noticing that takes one damage per hit, so I, we just want to attack really quickly. Oh, God. Uh, sheath cooldown down, damage barely down, movement speed up. We lose the armor penetration. I don't know how relevant that is. I just don't. I'll take it. I'll take it. We get a, we get more souls back this way. It's roughly a, it's probably roughly a side grade with the sheath cooldown. But like our our sheath move is just so 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 strong that getting that cooldown reduced as low as possible is probably the most beneficial thing we could really do at this point. Like, that's some damage. We're doing 
really, 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 really clean damage. And it's AoE. And we can do it from far away. It's all just so nice. I was going to say, I'm just assuming they're dead. Nice. Whoop. Okay. I wonder... So, this flying sword, how much damage does it do? The one that comes from the sky? Yeah, no, that one's pretty vague. I wonder, maybe there's a... Um, maybe there's a little thing that says... What kind of... Um, like, advanced tool kits there are, you know? Maybe in the settings, maybe we'll take a look at that. Because there's a couple... There's a couple that are vague. There's a couple that are really, really detailed. I got hit by that? Oh! I didn't think that we actually were going to get this. What... Swap, swap that out, I think. Unless... The, the fact is, this works really well with it. it. It helps scale it up even further. Good deal. Whoop, 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 whoop. At this point, I'm really not attached to our sword in any way. I, I'm, I think it's probably our biggest point of potential upgrade. I could see us getting something that is fundamentally busted. This is so nice, though. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, <laughs> look at that. I love killing things just off screen. Just doesn't matter, man. Yeah, you jerk. Good, good. Yeah, so this takes a flat one damage, so it doesn't matter what we're doing. We probably just want to go up and kill that with melee. All damage up 5%. Legendary ch ah, God, come on, man. When are we going to get something that's actually good for our specific build? Please, oh, please, oh, please. Okay. So do we want to spend money? we got to remember we have the thing that uh, increases our damage based off how much money we have. We have 778. I don't remember what the scarf does. I'm going to say no because I don't remember what the scarf does. And I don't want to go for a poison build. I've not seen a second uh, version of a character for this yet. Okay. Just stay at a distance until we get our super duper mode. Oh my god. Okay. Where's he at? Where's he at? I think that was him, right? Yeah. Super duper mode. Go. Maybe it was a waste. Should have waited a little bit. Yes. Oh my god, the damage. The damage. Ooh. 12% chance when attacked to be to evade it entirely. Okay. Movement speed up. All damage increased by a little bit of your movement speed. Maybe. Ah, sure. Big number funny. Upon dealing flame damage. Nope. Upon sheath do uh, true damage to AoE. When rage is 100, automatically consumes rage. Adds 25% true damage to all of your melee and flying sword damage for 20 seconds. 25% chance to... I mean, yeah, sure. That seems cool. I, I wouldn't... I feel like I would probably end up replacing that with something else, like a decently relevant purple in the future, but it, it seems very cool. Again. Wow. Our our weapons have been largely irrelevant. Oh, he hello? What? They just popped in? Oh, because there's a... There's one of these... Go, 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 go. Yep. Yep. How do we reduce our sheath cooldown more? 
Also, we have to remember when we when we sheath, we do an AOE burst. I think that's every time, right? Oops. I beeped it. I beeped it again. You know what? Just let's humiliate this guy. <laughs> there we go. One, two. Whenever we're just moving in between two places. Oh, God. We should make sure we have the big laser beam going. The big red laser beam. Oh. Come on. Yay! There we are. Probably dead. Probably dead. Everybody's probably all dead, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Book. Uh. Nah. I'll go for a defensive boost at that rate. Again, we gotta make sure we actually use that on an enemy. It's it's weird. When we are going to press R, make sure we get into melee range. Okay. Again. Again, I did it. I did it again. Go. Yes, yes. Invisible man. Is he shielded too? So when we hit 100, we also do it. Okay. Uh, sure. Okay. Hey, it's, you know, it's probably not worth putting myself in danger for. It's worth doing if I can get it done smoothly. It's not, it's not that much damage. It's not much more than a single laser beam. It's cool. Okay. Boink. What do we got? Ah, la, 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 la. the big man. The big man himself. Do I take a tome for 800? Oh, God. Do I take a tome for 800? 1.25 times 16. Uh, like 20% damage. <laughs> That's probably not worth it, right? That's probably not worth it. 800's a lot. Okay. Um. Will we beat the DPS check here? I think so. And maybe it might be worth not being in melee range. It may be worth not being in melee range during the fireballs. We'll see. Can't skip this. Okay. Let's do it. Do it. Do I get in with it? Nope. Blaze beams. Go. Just go. Ah. There we go. Go, go, go. Spam. Spam, spam, spam. Okay. We kind of want her to, to throw them both in this... Yeah, I was going to say, in this general area. I'm just going for a little spam right now. A little spam is a treat. Okay, we, we got them all sort of in the same part of the arena. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. All right. All right. That's fine. Cleansed, cleansed. Make sure we're on red. So far, so fine. Man, they gave me a lot of time. Where yet? Where yet? Where yet? You got the fireballs? I don't know. Yeah, you're just gonna throw them. That's yeah, fine. Go, go, go! Spam it! Spam it! Spam it! All right. Alright, I think we just, uh, tap, go, spam, I think that's it, right? Yeah, baby! I think we might enter, no? I was gonna say, I thought we might enter the, um, second phase here. Oh, God. <laughs> Please tell me we don't take immediate damage. Please tell me we're not taking damage. Okay, good. <laughs> okay. 
Good deal. Oh, this this face is gonna be so much nicer. Oh god, it's gonna be so much nicer <laughs> than yesterday. If you didn't see yesterday's attempt at this, I mean we won. Oops, that was stupid. But like, boy, that was uh, it was a doozy. It was the least smooth. It probably could have been. Got hit by that twice now. Eh, no reason not to heal really. Every time I go and I, I check, it seems like we're at red. It's almost like it automatically puts you at red. God dang it. Oh. It's like it almost uh, automatically puts you at red if you don't attack for a certain amount of time, which would be really nice quality of life. I don't think it's true, though. I feel like that attack is slightly quicker. Maybe it's just getting quicker near the end. Oh, God. Beefed it. Okay, we're on red. Okay, one, a two, a three. One, a two, a three. Oh, put him in a line. Line him up, line him up, line him up. Get out of my face, you son of a fucker. One second. All right, sorry about that. There's <laughs> just, uh, I'm trying to get my internet fixed. Uh, apologies. There's, uh, I don't think I want zombie fingers. I don't think I care about it right now. Sword is potentially going to be great. Every six hits with the flying sword. Okay, Sword God mode on this is cool. I'm, I'm happy to see it has a different modifier. If you have Pearl, your shield effect is up. Did we have Pearl? No, we got rid of Pearl. Man, we just can't find a good one to save our life. Do I take this to increase my relic chance? No, we keep it for the movement speed since we do more damage based off of movement speed. That's my opinion. Uh, what do we have here first? I will take max HP up for 350. I feel like that's a decent chance. I'm going to go with blue souls for more money. I think it's too risky to ditch my weapon. Because I'm just knowing my luck today, I guess, I don't know. Maybe I should have. When, when is it going to be worse than what we have? What, right, what sword's worse than what we have? It's so It's so minor. The effects of it. Oh my god. Look at that! Oh, that's so good. That's sword god mode. Oh my god. Just giant sword laser things. So maybe we just like... Yeah, I was gonna say, maybe we just tap shoot to enter sword god mode. I think that might actually be the play. Yeah, maybe not. I guess we've just been getting lucky. We just got really lucky the first time, I guess. <laughs> okay. Yes, screw it. I think we use the uh, use our actual active ability, our sheath skill, until then. I don't know, maybe if we charge and pierce, we increase our chance of getting the ability because we might hit more than one enemy. That's something. See, like right there, I got crazy mode activated. Okay. This is a fun, it's a fun build. Just got a lot, a lot more fun. It's, it's very dynamic too. That's what I'll say. A lot of the builds, they're cool. But above that, they're cool and they, they feel genuinely dynamic like it's yes there is just like the simple spam click build but like the build today the build yesterday there's a there's an actual active flow chart jesus okay this man's just a regular enemy now huh i mean to be fair i am sure i'm treating him like a regular enemy holy mother of goodness Freebie. Oh, God. Alright, sure. 
Okay, we got our elite there. Wait, I don't remember. I guess... So I guess we just can get an elite now. I guess that's just something that's possible. Ah. Uh. I don't want to do that again. I'm not going to say that it's bad, because it's not. It's very good. But I don't want to do it again. We literally did it yesterday. We did it yesterday. Okay, mini boss. I don't remember. It's a shame. Those might be relevant. They might be relevant, but I am going to literally just need to wait until... <laughs> Until I know what they all do by sight read. Like there's some that I do. I don't know what the scarf does by sight read right now. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna waste money on it right now until I know. No reason to be in melee range. Also, no reason to go for charge shots, I'd say, at this point. We want to increase our chance of getting the falling sword. And the crazy laser mode. Okay, watch out for the bomb boys. This guy is countered but hard by circle strafing. Okay. Are we just getting unlucky with our procs? Yeah, we're just kind of getting unlucky with the procs. Oh. So yeah, that does not actually fill up this spot that it says it fills up. That fills up way more. We can actually probably get in melee range. I don't think it's a relevant thing for this fight. Eh, this is a this is a different guy. So the mini boss of Zone Two is the only place that we've not oh uh, not seen a new boss for. Uh, obviously, like the end of chapter bosses are all the same, but that's like, of course. Okay, chance to chance to crit on Throne Sword, I guess, basically. Uh, oh, there's a world where that's not bad. I don't think this is what we want, though. Th this is a great item to take on a fast melee attack speed build. Oh? Whenever you trigger Sword God, flying sword damage is... Oh! Yes! Let's -a go! About time. On top of the fact we get a flat 10% uh, benefit. Oh, mamacita. Oh, mamacita. We could probably trigger Sword God mode during our, our sheath, I would assume. It may be like, it's normally a redundant fact, but I bet you it's possible, right? So, like, we could get the 100% extra damage up in this? I think so. I think that slowdown was us uh, activating Sword God mode. This is huge. This was the sword we've been waiting for, man. This is the one we've been waiting for. Okay. No. Sword God mode. Yep, yep, yep. You can definitely... You can very much tell when Sword God mode is, is on... Uh, they explode noticeably faster. Come on, proc it. Proc it. Proc it. I wonder if there's any passives to, like, get a, uh, a higher chance to proc or a higher range damage. If you have Flying Sword boost, the boost is doubled. Uh... Uh... I'm assuming it's one of these. I'm assuming it's one of those and we don't have it. But also, who cares? Yeah, boy! We go for the elite. Did we get our elite upgrade? From the last one? I think we did. It was, yeah, it was the sword. It was the sword. We just didn't use it. Hello, Turtle Man. Oh, oh, oh. 
We've definitely transitioned the build into a spam right click build or spam tap right click build, and I am here for it. I feel like I'm not activating sword god mode for the life of me though. Okay, go, 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 go. I will say it's it's a lot better for letting me dash. I mean this there's a world where that's good. I'll say ti Tiger's Mark just works because it it piggybacks off of the off of something else is the thing. It's not that strong on its own, but it's kind of just a supplement to another thing. So it doesn't need to be that strong. It's, it's basically like make that other thing you have 15% stronger, and that thing that other thing we we have is very strong. So I'm not too worried about it. Even though it seems like a, it maybe seems bad to keep because it's still a common, which feels like we should be uh, beyond that point at this point. But fifteen percent of our damage is a big number right now. Oh my god! An additional fifteen percent damage. That's what we're looking for. We're looking for percent damage at this point due to the raw high number that we have. Big number, funny. Oops. Our melee can't trigger our sword god mode, right? That wouldn't make sense. Okay. Alright. Okay. Uh, a legendary book sounds nice, but I just... We gain so much damage by holding on to our money. That's why I actually typically don't like passives or items like this in games, because they encourage you to not experiment. This and that, like that one where it's like 33% extra damage for every item you don't have in your inventory. I typically don't like those. I don't think they're very fun. So like in the future, I probably won't use them very much. Okay. Definitely not dying as fast as it did yesterday. I don't know if I want to use my super mode on it. I think we wait. As soon as I see that sword come down from the sky, I know. I know it's toast. Okay, here we go. It's gonna, yeah, I was gonna say, it's gonna go right back down. Okay, not a bad idea. Get in. Okay, super mode activate. Lol. Okay. You're probably dead the second you come up. No, you're not. Oh, I thought that sound was me procking it. Okay. Oh, that was actually... That was awkward on my part. Weird, weird, weird. Okay. Don't have him yet, though. He's going to go right back under. We got one more phase. There we go. Super mode, super mode, super mode. Go, go, go. Ah! I mean, you know, it doesn't really matter, I guess. If we if we get it, we get it. Oh. Maybe we just, like, spam here, because we're going to get it anyways. Oh, wow. We just... We got... <laughs> Never mind. We got Sword God mode. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Incoming big boy mode. Hello, sir. Hello there. Actually having the ability to dodge, too. Pretty cool. Hopefully get lucky with the first attack and we can go spam. Yeah. Okay. Good, good, good. It's fine. Okay. Focus up, focus up, focus up. Perfect. Perfect. Wait. Un imperfect? Oh, oh! Oh, wait, what? 
the placement of that laser beam was not where I thought it was supposed to be. What? Where do we go? Where do we go? Down the bottom middle and then we go up? I haven't had to actually dodge that. Cause usually, like, very much um, exploding this man by the time I'm here, but I guess maybe the difficulty increase has it, uh, maybe he has a little bit more health or something? I don't know. That or maybe I just don't have as busted of a build. That's truly the thing. I don't, I actually don't think I have as strong of a build as I did yesterday, because yesterday I just couldn't die. Bye, nerd. Uh, I don't even need to look at this. I know that I don't need that. Uh, whenever your sun piercing ray hits the enemy, it explodes. What? Oh god, now I have another one that I'm tempted to get. Uh, whenever your sun piercing ray hits the enemy, it explodes dealing 70%. Oh my god, this is so tough. I'm going to say thanks for the 200 bucks, which we get because we get more. What? 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 And then you just slap me in the face with that? 75% extra damage on all of our lasers? What? Are you okay? Is that allowed? Go, 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 go. Bop. Um, I'm going to say yes, because that's just so important. But then we will go for a random amount of souls. We are rich. We are rich. I know I could have gone for the extra 5% attack, which could have been could have been cool at this point. Like, 5% at this point is a large sum. No lie. Go, 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 go. Take this laser up north. Good, good, good. Ooh, yeah, we're... we're sur I'm stuck on the rock. Uh, it's not the first time I've been stuck on that. It's specific rock. Okay, go, go. Oh, Sonic the Hedgehog ball. Yeah, our damage is not actually that good. Which is kind of wild. Go, 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 go. Did we get the, um, I think we got the ball of wild individuals. Yeah, th that, that's where these guys are from. Okay. No. The AoE off. I don't know if it's worth it. I don't know if it's worth it or not to get that AoE off. Maybe it is, maybe it's not. Couldn't quite tell if some of that damage came after. Okay. Oh, no! I just entered sword god mode. Not now, mom. I'm in sword god mode. Oh, watch out for the tentacles. That does damage too. Okay, gotcha. All right. We are... It, things are actually looking kind of grim. I feel like we've uh, hit a little bit of a, uh, of a wall. Just raw damage-wise. Which is shocking, considering the events that have happened up to this point. But, you know. Oh, hi. You just showed up on my screen. Okay. So, there's a summon back here. Sir. Yeah, if I could just increase the chance of entering Sword God mode, that really is the biggest area of improvement I think I could get right now. Because it's better for us to enter Sword God mode than it is for us to even use our sheath, I think. Oh, 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 so that's... I, I got you there. Got you, got you, got you, got you, got you, mister. Okay, fine, fine. 
sword god. Sword god. Sword god. It's just not a very... It, it's not reliable. Just fire down there. Hope I hit something. Cool, 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 cool. Oi! 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 Yeah, we're just like... We're tickling them at this point, though. Is this like, is there HP from a difficulty thing? Or is it is it genuinely just that this build is not scaling up as well as I had hoped? I think that might be the case. It's like a high roll build. Like when we get the crits going, more or less, we, uh, we are pretty disgusting. But if we're not critting, we're tickling. I think that's really the big thing. Oh God, this is absolutely not what we were looking for. Eh. There's actually a world where that's fine. <laughs> the reflexes on that. <laughs> so tight. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. These guys are frightening. Oh, my God. Look how bad the damage is. Uh, 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 uh. Fire in every direction. Just assume that we maybe you hit somebody. Go, go, go. Back, 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 back. Hi. Both. Literally just waiting for the high rolls. No doubt a build that would have been best like better yesterday. If we had the exact same. All the exact same items, but the version that applies to the sword or the yeah the build from yesterday, I think we'd be better off. Like Sunpiercer, like I like it. I think it's good. Everybody, the way that everybody was talking about it, I thought it'd be, uh, I thought it'd be better. Like I actually did. I heard people say that it's gonna make every other weapon seem completely not viable. And maybe I'll feel that way tomorrow if I try another weapon and it just makes this mode look like a joke. Or, or uh, sorry, no, the opposite. If it, if I turn, if it turns out that this mode is actually really, really tough, this difficulty level, and this weapon is just so good that I'm not noticing how brutal it is. Aside from the health thing, which it does feel like the enemies do have a little bit of extras. Go. Now, 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 now. We're not getting a lot of our um, our healing procs, are we? Okay. What? Okay, mini boss. I do, I do heal here. I absolutely do. Okay, it's you. Hi. Uh, the good news is, I think that she does not like range builds. She's a very dashy individual. Oops, well. That did not work as well as I had hoped. Timing wise. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Well, that sucks. I can't move. I couldn't get out of the melee range there. Sir? Sir? And by sir, I mean, ma'am? Concubine, sir. Oops. Hey, okay, so it's a triple attack. Gotcha. Yeah, so we definitely can enter sword god mode during our sheath mode. It's definitely possible. It just happened. Like, I've, I've sort of assumed I've been working under that assumption because it felt that way so far. It skipped really far away. It's not actually that, not actually that tough to escape. getting kind of wrecked. Yeah. Next. 
Don't think I'll survive this. Perhaps it's karma. I have few regrets in my life, but my greatest regret is giving in to the Empress's bribes and threats and then helping her murder consort Kim and the Imperial Prince Lan. I did not kill Lan, though. I put him in a small wooden barrel in a riverbank. If he survived, he'd be 25 years old now. Hmm. 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 It'd be the- I'd be putting it in the bottom slot, if anything. Absolutely. She'll- sheath cool down, down. The secret letter looks quite old. Some of the text has begun to fade, but it's barely legible. Still barely legible. That and her offspring must die before winter solstice. Do it, and I will shower you with wealth and prestige. But if you fail... I'm going to pay deep attention to how much money we get. So I can know once and for all, like, the heck is happening. Yeah, but we, uh, we kind of wrecked that there. That boss was quite smooth, all things considered. If anything, we die to the, the final boss at this point. I don't see myself dying and running out of, uh, of gourds before then. got about like 300 a, a, okay it's you definitely get more unless you get a really rare drop you get more oh god i gotta figure out which visual tell is for the tongue lash of for that enemy and what is for the aoe sonic the heg heg okay. oh I'm a little worried about super duper AOE tree extravaganza vampire survivors room. Assuming that happens right before the boss every time. Well, that's right. We have two bosses left. Oh, I forgot. Oh, we're we're taking some surprise damage here. Some surprise surprisingly high amount of damage here. Go, go, move, move. Uh, uh. Distance, distance, distance. I made it out of clay. Okay, we need to heal. All right, I take it back. Well, I mean, no, 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 I don't take it back. I, I still think that if we die, we die to the boss, but we would die to the boss because we're out of potions. I think we go here at this point. I think it's wise. Oh, that was a lucky first shot there. I gotta look at something. Dude, what is, um, what's going on here with the chance to heal? What's up with that? 5% chance to be healed for 3% health. Okay. Oops. Well, that's, that, I should have, shouldn't have done that. That's for sure. 5% chance to be healed for 3% health. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Ow. Uh, eh, fine. Okay, yeah, we're probably we're probably gonna die here. We've definitely been scaled out. I feel like this um this zone is like a it's kind of like a gear check is what I'm noticing. And our build was really good for a while, but at this point it needs to be better than it even is right now, which is wild. There could be some meta progress stuff that would that will make it easier, and by that I mean I know for a fact that there is meta progress stuff that will make it easier. Whip, whip. We're still going, huh? Do I take a relic? Now let's take damage. Ah, okay. Let's just wait a sec. Cause, uh, yep. Yep, 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 yep. Shmoove, shmoove. Vampire survivors. Ain't got nothing on me. Cool. 
Winter of the 23rd year of the Long Wu era, Emperor Wu became afflicted with a strange disease named Li as the crown prince. Alright. Second to last boss. Pearl. Pearl is tempting. That's the only thing. I, I, I want the skill book, don't get me wrong. I don't I don't have faith in this. The good news is I do think that he's not an incredibly good lo uh, long range fighter, but he has a dash. Okay. Okay. At least we can dash. The ah, that move. Okay, so does he do that after that move every time? Okay, I'm gonna die. Still piecing him together here. It seems like he does do it after that attack every time. Oh god! Oh, he debated me. He dashed, but he did not dash towards me. No, he does. He doesn't do it every time. God. Not like this. The funny thing is, I think we, we would have a better chance of beating the final boss at this point. Oh, God. He broke his helmet. I don't remember with this phase. I feel like it was terrifying. It sure seems gross. I think he's breaking... Is he breaking our attacks, I guess? That seems bad. Okay. Not close. Okay. Uh, I don't know what that. I didn't know where he was going with that. That was terrifying. Yeah, I think he's. Yeah, he was breaking our attacks there. Okay. Legend. Eat butt. Wrecked them. I wrecked him. <laughs> I know what I said. Uh, your son pierced a rate coverage up? How important is that? Let's give ourselves a chance to crit. I don't know. If we have three different ways to high roll, then one of them is going to be more likely, yeah? I can't imagine it being a good idea to spend on that. I'll attack up by 15% is actually worth it. At this point, that that's worth it because... Okay, hold on. Did we, get, we get healed, right? Right? Yes, okay. There's a chance. There's a genuine, there's a chance. I, I'm going in with a better shot, technically, than I had against the other guy I just fought. That being said, this guy is wild. And I think I only beat him last time because I was basically unkillable in the health area. <laughs> we are relatively kind of normal in a health area here. Our damage is pretty good, but apparently not that good. Yeah, like, I don't know about dodging that attack. What? Okay. Just, just learn, just learn. Yeah, I was going to say that. Sure seems like there's a third attack coming out. Okay, gotcha. Uh, Focus 
this up. Just get far away when he does that. Okay. I can't do anything. This attack is crazy. I don't... I don't know, man. There's got to be a way to dodge it. Like, I, I do not... I choose to believe there's no way that that's undodgeable. But dang. Okay. Oh, God. oh, and then he goes for a teleport there. Okay. Okay. Dodge. I'm tickling him. Hey! Triple attack. Go. Got healed. There's one down, one heal down. One of my heals down. Oh, God. Oh, my God! Rude! Okay, and then he... Yeah, he, he does his own teleport in right after the fireworks there. Always teleports at he always teleports after that. Okay. Super mode. Okay, so he doesn't gain any health for this phase. I, I thought he did. That's incredible news for me. So yeah, he always goes in after that move. Always. Lol. GG easy. Beep, 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 boop. I will probably replay this difficulty level again tomorrow, though, when checking out the new builds, because I don't want to have a bad idea about the balance of weapons, you know? Nice. We've done it again. Two days in a row. Hey, but we we uh we went up in the uh in difficulties. If you want to see that, you know, I, I checked it out yesterday there. Very cool. So we got a bunch of stuff we can upgrade now. We climb the difficulty even further. But uh, we have 13 to spend. Melee attacks have a 15% chance to inflict an extra attack. That's cool. Sheath has a 20% chance to not trigger cooldown. Obviously very cool. Should we just, like, fill out this tree? Are we limited in any way? I don't think we are limited in any way. Still, Elixir gives attack speed, flying sword damage up. Rage explosion duration up. That seems potentially very fun, too. Eh. Eh. Whatever. All right. Uh, reset. No, restart. I, I feel like they should change the reset word to uh, to refund. Okay. What? Oh. Oh, interesting. That's kind of fun that we can start with an item like that. Woo! All right. And I think that we might have an unlock. Yeah, we, we do. All damage up 5%. Indeed. Okay. And then let's see. Do we have another heavy snow? I don't know. Is that the... It might be the highest difficulty. I doubt it, though. I just feel like it's not. I feel like there's going to be blood in the... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There's get... This is going to be filled with blood. It's going to be over, like, pouring out of it. 
All right, and there's still two there. Interesting. Well, alas, alas, that is that. That's going to do it for today. We have two more uh, statues to check out. We're not going to be done after that, I don't think. I think we're going to be playing this for quite a while. You guys seem to be quite into it, and I am as well. So, alas, alas, that is that, though, and that is going to do it for Warm Snow today. Please like and comment down below. If you'd be sad to see the series go, you got to let me know so we can keep Warm Snow. Thank you, thank you, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.